On this video, we're going to be working on side passes down the right side of the body with rotation. So I'm going to bring Kerry into this. Let's start with our left hand. A lot of it's got to do with when I get off the track, when I prep to allow the girl to know that there's rotation. So when I lead down the track, it's one, I'm prepping a little more or a lot more on two. Instead of going one, two, and lifting the hand and rolling. be more linear for her. That left hand at the same time as I lift that, I'm going one, prep, two. Now I'm gonna bring the hand over and rotate it down so it goes to a couple of pinch and three and four, anchor five and six. I'm glad you talked about cup and pan because you'll need to, on multiple turns, be using that type of hand technique. We'll go into it more later in different uh, videos. Yeah. All right, so um, leading this, timing is essential to give the girl enough time if you want her to finish double, triple, triple. So. One prep, two turn, three and four, anchor five and six. So I've got that turn going on three, then she's able to keep that rotation through that triple rhythm and then finish on the anchor five and six. One, two turn, three and four, five and six. Again, one, two, three and four, anchor five and six. All this right. follows that I'm not real quick to square off at the end. I'm taking my time because I want to make sure he's got all the time in the world in order to finish the way he would like to, or perhaps that we sync up with whatever's happening in the music and we have time to play there. So I'm not right at the very end screen. Yeah, and are you still doing a pivot or are you doing a three-step turn there? Right now I'm still doing a pivot, but you can interchange your chenets in your three-step turns. I tend to sprinkle those in musically, so for slowing down, I'll do a chenet turn, which is wider, it takes longer, or um, if we're doing something that travels or doesn't travel as much, I'll flip flop out the different styles of turns to fit what we're Well, let's doing. do a three-step turn on this and then you can give them a little sure. bit of advice. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to lead this, actually I'm going to do it off handshake. Now, it almost feels like the lead I would do if I lead a whip, but I cut that off short so I actually control carry much earlier. But if I want her to know that it's a free spin, I'm actually going to lead it down the track. One, prep, two, three, and four, anchor, five, and six. So basically what I'm saying is this is a little bit longer than a whip by leading the flip to the hip, but also diagonal of the hip. So it goes down the track and slightly away from the hip, and then I can finish it off. Rather than if I whip it and I cut it off short, she knows by the connection and also that I flipped it really short to the hip so that she's actually going to be doing whip footwork there. Really, like to say if uh, the followers feel redirected by force, she knows it's going to be a whip. Yeah, and if I was leading that same move off the left side, again, that could feel like we're going to do a whip, but I'm going to lead the flick, even though it's going down toward the hip area, it's still going uh, linear, so it's going long. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. Now that might feel really weird to do that down the right side, but again, learning to do these things is going to take you, it's a gateway to how to do more advanced so movements. let's do the, both of those vertically. So start out uh, with handshake. We mm, didn't do that one Okay, yet. handshake. So handshake. One, two, three, and four, five, <laughs> and six. So that was not a multiple turn, that was just the side pass. Yeah. One, two, three, and four, five, and that six. That's how I multiple turn. And then off the right side. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. And then off the left side. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. Takes a little more lead for me on that one. I feel like left to left and to get that rotation. I feel like we may not have done the right to left down the side. Two, three, and four. You see that nice subtle sliding down the track, even though it's still going in a very similar height and level to the hip, but it away rather and than into. Just a reminder that for the follows, once she asked me to demonstrate the three step turn, all of the whips from that point on, I've been demonstrating with a three step turn forward. So let's just get Carrie to quickly show that three step turn just so you know. Yeah, you bet. So we're going one, two, side, together side and or open back. 
So then we can go ahead and do our anchor or triple, whatever that happens. So I have a question. What happens if the girls want to take that down and then step together? Well, that's what I am doing. One, two, open together, open. I mean, if they go one, two, together, open. So that to me looks like we just tightened into shimmy turns okay. because there's two steps there that were very equal. Mm -hmm. So I'll go ahead and do the two or three step this direction. One, two, open together, open. And I'll do that the other direction. One, two, open together, open. And good day. Very good. All right. Well, hopefully you'll enjoy that. Well, we know you will. <laughs> and uh, that gives you some insight into some basic turns and again, Notice we're always trying to get encourage using multiple different hand holds. Yeah, you can so that really you get that exponentially grow your repertoire simply by trading out hands. Yeah, totally. I mean, it feels different. It looks different just by doing hand changes. And it's fun. Yay.